Hello, I'm Katie Willis and I'm Head of the Department of Geography at Royal Holloway and I'm here in the hills overlooking the Spanish town of Nurca. Nurca is on the southern coast of Spain in the province of Andalusia and it's where we bring our first year students for their first taste of overseas field work. This field trip allows all our students, regardless of the degree that they're doing, to get an experience of both physical and human geography field work in a different location. It also allows them to develop different skills in terms of their research skills, in terms of their observations, and in terms of their measurement skills in both human and physical geography. Fieldwork is a really, really important part of our geography degrees here at Royal Holloway. And the reason for that is because it's when you're in the field that you can see some of the human and physical processes that you've been studying in the classroom. We also think fieldwork is really important as a way of getting students to work in groups, to understand about how you work with different strengths of different individuals and to develop a shared understanding of the way that the world works. Because fieldwork is so important, we do lots of fieldwork in many parts of our degree. In the first year, in the first term, we do local fieldwork, getting people confident in using the equipment and certain techniques. Then in the second term, in the January of your first year, we all come out to Spain and the cost of this trip is all included in your fees. In the second year, students get to pick which trip they want to go on and this reflects the fact that students are now starting to develop their own research interests in different parts of geography. At the moment we have five trips that we run and they range from trips that are to Malawi if you're interested in uh, development or you're interested in issues around semi-tropical landscapes. We also do a physical geography trip to Sicily if you're interested in understanding certain kinds of geomorphology processes, certain issues to do with biogeography. We also do a trip to London if you're interested in issues around cultural geography or economic geography. We similarly do a trip to South East England if you're interested in physical geography processes, potentially to do with rivers or issues about the environment. And then finally, we do a trip to New York where you're, if you're interested in economic, cultural or political geography processes. And the cost of these trips varies. At least two of the trips are free. They're the trips that are based in the UK. Other trips cost more. In the third year, where you are becoming more and more specialised in the kind of geography that you want to do, there are some courses which will allow you to take day trips or half day trips to local areas. And this is not because we think that there is nothing that you can learn in the classroom or in the laboratory on the campus, but because we think it's really important that as geographers we get out and we see different bits of the world. And that might be very locally, just down the road from the campus, or it may be many, many miles away, like here in southern Spain.